Okay, guys, as promised, I'm going to do a question five for you. So the most important thing is to get the Roman numerals and the spelling correct in on your initial pass through um, of your question five. So we're in C minor. So here, um, this is one. Don't have to worry about anything. Six, I'm in first inversion. So when I see the E here, I know it's the middle note. So it's C, E, G. C, E, G is one, six, okay? Six, five, I know that this is a seventh chord, first inversion, this is the middle note, D, F, A, C. D, F, A, C. D is two, six, five. Also, the F is already taken care of, so I'm gonna scratch that out. Here I have G, G, B natural, remember, leading tone, hello, D, five. Here we have A, C, E, six, F, F, A, C, four, and G, B natural, D, five. Okay. So now I'm going to want to put my soprano in. Um, lots of different things that you can do here. Um, we can hold it. Um, I when when they have go, one going to one six on these normal um, things, I I don't like to hold everything because something's going to get messed up. So it's nice to do like a little voice exchange here between the soprano and the alto and um, the bass. Excuse me. So I'm going to put a C right here in my soprano. And then that means, because I see the C right here, that I can hold the C here and resolve it down to the B natural. And remember, when you're in minor, you always want the leading tone to come from scale degree one or tonic. So I'm going to scratch that out because we cannot double the leading tone. Okay, and then because my leading tone is in an outer voice, I have to resolve it to the C. Done. I'm gonna hold the C, because holding common tones is amazing. And then again, I can get this B natural coming from tonic. I'm gonna scratch that out down here. Great. Okay, I think that's a soprano that everybody would like to sing. So let's fill in everything. So I have a C and an E already taken care of. Um, here, because it's the same chord from before, hold all your common tones. Now I'm not gonna get into any kind of trouble and I have complete chords. Okay, so I need a D and an A. Uh, so why don't I put the, uh, the D here and the A here, and don't tell me that's a parallel fifth, it's uneven fifths, because this is a A flat, so that's uneven. Um, G, B natural, I think I'll hold the D, and have the G come back here. A, C, E, I have to be careful, because right here I have a fifth, and right here I have an octave. So this cannot go to the A flat. So I have an A flat and a C already written. Um, I think I'm going to have to have this guy come down to the E flat. And I think I'll have this guy come down to the C. Look at that. So uh, I got a C here. I have an F and an A. So why don't we say... Um, go up to F here, and A flat, and I need a D, and a G, and there I go, in less than five minutes.